Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about where I buy things because I get a ton of questions about where do you buy things. So I figured I'd make a video so you don't have to ask me anymore. First website I really like is Science Company. They sell um, a lot of things at very reasonable prices. Um, not the biggest selection um, for certain things, but their customer service is awesome. And their site's down right now. Uh, next site is expediglass.com. They sell a lot of distillation kits, things with standard taper joints. I got my flask from them. Their prices are outstanding and the quality is really great too. Elemental Scientific has a huge variety of chemicals. I got my nitric acid from here. I got concentrated ammonia from here. Um, in my experience, shipping has been a little long, but I really like what they have to offer. United Nuclear, I haven't bought from in a long time. I, I used to use them a lot when I was starting out. Um, they have a few things that you just can't find anywhere else, so that's what I like about them. HMS Beagle uh, sells chemicals in small quantities, which is a good thing for home chemists. They sell a lot of chemicals that I would have no idea where to find elsewhere, so I like them for that. These next websites are more of specialty websites. I wouldn't use them for anything other than you know something that only they specifically offer. Roto Metals uh, specializes in low melting point non-ferrous metals and alloys. I got my bismuth from them. They also sell zinc, lead, I mean, look over here, um, with great prices, so that's why I like them. Metallium is for element collectors. Um, a bit overpriced if you're planning on using their elements as reagents, but that's not what they're for. They're for collection, so you can see a, what they sell here. Gallium Source is a great site for um, gallium, potassium, sodium, yeah. Anyway, so I just want to give you uh, an idea of where I get most of my supplies and a bit of an update. Um, as soon as my order from Elemental Scientific comes in, I'm going to be doing a few experiments. One with trimethyl borate, uh, one with iron oxalate, different videos. So looking forward to that. Anyway, thanks and stay tuned.